we need to understand certain basic terms. Now, when you're talking about principle, very importantly, we have the principle. That is, this is also called the sum that is lent. Say, for example, you, your friend asks you to lend 10,000 rupees. So, we say in such cases, the principal amount that has been lent is 10,000 rupees. Right? And there is a time period for which he lends it. So, for example, you have, he's saying, you lend it to me for three years. So, we say time period is three years. Then you have the rate of interest. The rate of interest is how much percentage, which would be written as a 30 percent wins 30 by 100, which can also be written as 0 0.03. So, R can be written as 30 percent. You can write it as 30 percent or you can even write it as 0 0.03. Right, so it's okay. Now here we have made a mistake. I'm sorry. It should be either this should be three percent, so we can change this to three percent. Suppose it's three percent, then we write it as zero point zero three. Suppose it's forty percent, we write it as zero point four. Right, which is forty by hundred, which is zero point four. And the interest is different from the rate of interest. Interest, say for example, what is the interest? for 1000 say 10000 rupees for 3 years at at 40% so what is the amount so it's going to be 10000 per year he has to pay 40% that is 40 by 100 into 3 what is the amount in rupees that he has to pay that will turn out to be what he means by so it will be 4000 into 3 that is 12000 sorry 4 40, 10,000 into 40 percent. So, it's going to be 12,000 is what he is going to pay accordingly. 12,000 will be the interest in case he has to pay it in those. So, the amount of interest and the rate of interest are two different things. And the amount would be whatever is the principal plus this interest amount. For example, in this case, it's going to be 10,000 as a principal plus 12,000. That is, when you get back the money, you're going to get 10,000 rupees along with the 12,000 of interest that you're getting. So, these are certain terms which spread throughout on in all forms of interest. The principal is the amount sum lent. Amount is what you get after the principal along with the interest is called the amount. These are common terms which are valid for both simple interest as well as compound interest. <clears throat> Furthermore, <clears throat> now let's actually go to, okay, say for example, amount borrowed 10,000 at the rate of 10% interest for 4 years. So, similar to that. So, we have, so the P principle is 10,000 and rate is 10%, which can be even written as 0 0.1, 10 by 100 and time is 4 years. So, the amount in terms of is nothing but principal plus the interest. So, it's going to be principal is 10,000 plus interest is going to be the amount on this, on this principal, not amount, I'm sorry, principal. One year, he has to pay 0.1, but this is for 4 years, so into 4. So, it's going to be 10,000 plus 4,000. So, it turns out to be 14,000 is the amount while the interest is 4,000. Right? So, thus we have the amount here. 